Hello, Flickering Myth family, and welcome to our channel. My name is EJ Marino, and we have a new movie review. Yes, there is a new summertime slasher coming to Peacock, and we need to talk about They, Them. They slash them. On the surface, They Them is a pretty standard slasher film. It has the, the coating of a slasher movie, especially the 80s style. It has a good summer premise. It has a masked killer. It has a group of young teens just trying to survive. On the surface, again, really standard slasher stuff. Sometimes for good and sometimes for the bad. I'm like, okay, this movie gets a little trope filled. And then it kind of subverts the tropes. Then this that's when the extra layer gets added to this movie. It is a bit of a different type of slasher. I did not expect it to go the route that it did. So each turn of this movie, I was like, oh, this is not what I expected. That's not what I expected either. It had a little bit more layers to it. Now, do I wish this was a bit more horror filled? We have a whole section that we'll talk about this needing a little bit more scares. But yes, I do think it could have added a bit more like kills and a little less thrills. But what was presented was Pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. The acting, I mean, Mr. Kevin Bacon, he ate this up. He understood the assignment. There's moments where he went from like, I'm a cool camp counselor dude to one of the most scariest villains I have seen. He is such a talent. Even Miss Anna Klumsky, who I have not seen since my girl, she surprised me. And then the younger cast, a really, really good group of people there. Queer horror has been around for decades and decades. We all know it exists. Hell, even like Nightmare on Elm Street has a queer horror entry. Jennifer's Body was a big like, 2000s movie. There is a place for queer horror. And I do think They Them fits into that pantheon. I like what this was doing. I like the group of characters we meet. We meet a group of young people with Jordan, a non-binary trans folk, as our main character. And they are just trying to survive this hectic thing. We meet a bunch of other people in this camp, like Toby. Oh my goodness, the actor who plays Toby ate this movie up. Toby ended up being my favorite character. And the whole time I'm like, if anything happens to this person, I will fight the director. I will find you because they are just so good. I mean, the whole cast really made me enjoy them. Jordan's character was a bit more hard to deal with sometimes as the lead in a slasher could be. A bit like milk toast at times. And that's no like shade to the actor Theo. They're really good at what they need to do. It's just this character. You know, it's never the... I'm never a, a lead person in a slasher movie unless their name is Jamie Lee Curtis or Nev Campbell. They're usually kind of one of the weaker parts of slashers. Usually like the killer and the supporting cast around them a bit more. But this one did have, again, a good supporting cast, an okay lead, and oh my goodness, the threat that is Kevin Bacon in this. He is so terrifying as the camp counselor who is at first so welcoming to these young queer kids and turns out to be even more scary than you could ever imagine with the torture, with what he can do. Yeah, I love that queer horror has gone this route. We've seen a lot from this subgenre in the indie sense and in the bigger things. I mean, things like Freaky tries to have a queer, like, element to it. You know, the slasher movie with Vince Vaughn a couple years ago. So this is here. This has been in the mainstream, but I'm really happy to see them get this shot. They Them really is trying to kind of push the genre. It's trying to bring back slashers as we've been doing for the past couple years, but it's also trying to tell you a real scary story. Like Sadly, They Them does lack a bit in the scares. I wanted to be utterly terrified outside of the conversion therapy things. I like there's this one scene where someone's getting pinned to a chair and tortured and like sparked and oh my god I'm just like wow the electricity the the craziness of the scene is terrifying but it wasn't done by the slasher there is a like a reverse slasher element the, there's a twist to this that you wouldn't really expect on who gets killed on what's going on with the killer and their backstory and things like that there is a bit more to this than I was expecting but that did take away from the actual traditional slasher. Again, I might be a traditionalist. I'm from the sleepaway camp, Burning, Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, there is so many. I did a whole video up here where you guys can watch me dive into underrated, forgotten 80s slashers. I love this genre. Scream, like all of this just means so much to me. So I wanted them to uh, increase the mask killer elements, increase the, the gore a little bit more. I'm not saying make it obnoxiously gory, but I just wanted a bit more of a traditional 
horror element. I wanted this, honestly, to be Sleepaway Camp the remake. Like, I really was expecting a <laughs> ending, like, oh my god, that ending of Sleepaway Camp will live on in all of our heads forever. There was a little, like, element in this where they were, like, a slasher, like, a killer setup in the shower, and I was just like, if they come through the back, oh my goodness. But yes, I wanted just a bit more of that slasher element here. This movie is terrifying. It is tense, but just not in the way you would think. And I do think that's going to rub people the wrong way. So many people are going to be like, this forgot to be a horror movie. And I'm going to be like, the horror is in other elements, but I can acknowledge that I just wanted a bit more slashing. Well, that is it for my review of They Them, a new movie coming out to Peacock that I do suggest. It's not the best horror movie I've seen of the year. It's not my favorite modern slasher but it has a place. It has enough scares, enough woke educational things like mixed in with everything. It really does balance itself pretty well. It's sold on the premise. If you don't like queer horror or, you know, something called they, them, if you're going to be real triggered and upset by just the premise, then don't watch it, girl. It ain't for you. That's fine. Not everything is for everyone. I don't want to watch every movie. You don't have to watch every movie. So I would say if you are kind of adverse to this, if this stuff kind of does bother you, don't waste your time. But if you are intrigued, if you do want to see a different side of life that a lot of people have gone through, I mean, thousands and thousands of people have had to deal with conversion therapy, I do like the, the messaging of this. I do like that. Sometimes the messaging takes the front seat to the horrorness in the back, but hey, I'm not going to complain. It's not the worst movie I've seen. I did enjoy it. So what did you think of this review? What do you think of They Them? Let me know your feelings down in the comments below. Subscribe to Flickr Myth because we make videos like this every single week. And give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy. All right, everyone. Let's talk about They Them and other queer horror films down below.